All right. Uh, if you notice, I'm wearing a shirt. It's because uh, this was not a planned video. Uh, I just got off the phone with a, a client call. Actually, this was uh, a, f a father of a young boy. He paid for my session, and uh, he wanted me to speak to this young man. Apparently, this young man is a big fan of me or my work. And lo and behold, uh, he has decided to follow, you know, my path. And what do I mean by that? Uh, he's a rebel. He doesn't like to study. He's not studying. Uh, he doesn't want to go to school or high school, whatever. Uh, he likes tattoos. So obviously, you know, tattoos. He likes attention, he likes girls, which is normal, you know, a phase I went through. He wants to read books, he likes to see YouTube. Uh, he doesn't like to read school books. Uh, you know, you get the idea. So now, uh, the father found it very hard to explain things to him and his father was not a very big fan of mine. Uh, but eventually he had no choice because things became very difficult in the house. So I spoke to the young man, I first let him do the talking. And uh, you know, he was very uh, polite and he said, so a big fan of yours. I." You know, I, I want to be just like you. I want to live uh, off the grid or I want to marry you later on in life, a nice girl. I want to make money where I'm my own boss. And Okay. See now the, see here's the, see, I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. Okay. Um, on one side, what he's saying is true. Like I was a, I am a rebel, okay. Uh, when I was a small boy, I used to, uh, I used to talk a lot. I was very talkative. I was a big rebel. I never listened to anyone. I did what I wanted to do. I never did my homework. I was not disciplined. I would question everything. And uh, obviously, as I grew big, I noticed girls. I liked girls. I chased girls. And then as time progressed, uh, you know, got more crazy about girls, went into bodybuilding and uh, I never stuck to one job. Okay. So until now, all this is right. But now the question is, if you take the same path that I've taken or you adopt some of the lifestyle choices I've made, from getting tattoos to whatever. Does that mean you will succeed? And right off the bat, I'll tell you, the chances that you will succeed are far more less than if you took the proven path that normal people take. See, uh, let me make one thing clear. Because I was talkative, because I was talkative, I love to talk. I'm able to, you know, have these YouTube videos and I'm able to consult and train other people. Because I was restless, I have boundless amount of energy. I'm able to do the same thing with my brand. Because I was a rebel in society, I never followed rules. Today, I... Because of my rebellious nature, I managed to create a lifestyle which is being a rebel, you know, to the corporate world. 
Uh, I loved attention, which is why I got tattoos. Uh, I was crazy about girls, um, which is why I had so many affairs and relationships. And maybe, thankfully, that is why now I'm cool, cool and calm and composed and I'm not so crazy about girls anymore. Okay. But now, what you're doing is, if if you look at me and you think, oh, Loy was once a playboy, I'll be a playboy, and today I'll be good, or Loy got tattoos, and he gets so much of attention, and he got noticed, I'll do, I'll also get noticed. Well, uh, technically speaking, yes, you may achieve these results, but, but, there's a very big but, or the big but as a big ass. The results may not be positive. Like for example, if you get tattoos, you will get attention, you will be noticed. But what are the chances that uh, it might be acceptable to you or where you stay? See, let, let's let's understand one thing. Okay, I talk too much. Okay, I talk too much. I have a habit of putting all these videos and all that. Now let's say you also start talking too much. Okay, or you talk too much. Now your personality, my personality is different. Your experience, my experience is different. Your style of talking, my style of talking is different. Your experience, my experience is different. Like for example, I have 40 years experience in UAE. Uh, do you have that? You don't have that. I started my YouTube channel 11 years ago. Um, it just picked up maybe the last uh, two, three years, okay? And, um, you know, when I was teaching personal branding, it was okay. When I was teaching self-improvement, it was okay. But the minute I started to speak about Dubai and UAE, that's where it shot up. And that's no secret. So, I have always told people this was just me being lucky. See, there are many YouTube, many YouTubers who are. Uh, in fact, I I I've been lately looking at some of the channels. Uh, there was this girl who came on Doctor Phil, fifteen-year-old girl, who I think the title of the video is, she feels, uh, one thousand dollars allowance per month is not enough. She wants two thousand five hundred dollars. So when Doctor Phil tells her, you need to get a job and. Work. She starts to cry because she wants to be a pampered girl. She wants to live a pampered life. Now this girl, she's only I think 17 or something now. 17 or 19 or whatever. She doesn't offer any value. Not that I would know of. All her Instagram, I just checked. In terms of Instagram, the typical showing her tits and her ass and you know, trying to look sexy and expensive cars and all that. But here's a funny thing. She has more than 1 million followers. 1 million, huh? Now, I guess uh, she has something what the audience wants to see. Okay? So there are many YouTubers who are into gaming, who are into tech channels, who are into stupid stuff, pranks and all that. Now, wouldn't this be a good idea? I also try to get into all this. Maybe create two, three prank videos. Maybe some tech videos. Some Do some stupidity. The answer is, just because it worked for them, doesn't mean it'll work for me. See, you and I are two different individuals. We are born to two different uh, pair of parents. We are born in different countries. We have different personalities. And you can be rest assured, if you follow the same thing that I do, you will not get the same result. You may get a better result, you may get a worse result. But you will not get the same result. Now, the question is, are you willing to take the risk? See, whenever anyone tells me that they got inspired to get a tattoo because of me, or they got inspired to 
chase their dreams and all that. It sounds nice. Oh, I inspired someone. But what if the inspiration causes you to fail and do the wrong things? See, we only look at YouTube and we follow the successful YouTubers. How many YouTubers have uh, burnt out or have quit the YouTube industry altogether or have failed or are struggling? We don't know about those people because they don't talk about it. We always have a tendency that we will look at the glamorous, the glitz, the rich, the successful, and most of the people, what they put on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, they always show a very perfect, happy, great, amazing life. The reality is totally different. Like for example, I'll, I'll give you a simple example. If you look at any of the porno videos, adult videos, they look like they are doing wow, they are enjoying and all that. I want you to watch some of the interviews that porn stars give. And you can be rest assured, they'll tell you, it is absolutely disgusting. It is not at all fun. It's a lot of work. They have to literally, you know, men have to literally be hard for uh, eight hours, 14 hours. And they don't consider it sexually gratifying. It's, it's more like work. And uh, some of the porn stars are literally working five days a week, uh, 10 to 12 hours. Just imagine 10 to 12 hours, you need to have an erection. I mean, how much fun is that? And then if you listen to some of the videos of the terrible things that have happened, oof, you will lose interest in having sex completely. You will not want to have sex also. It's that bad. From poop to fungus infection to smell and vomit and... Phew, the, this is the reality of you know, you know, the porn industry of what happens in sex. But what we tend to see is a finished product that is so glorified. So I give you an example. One is a porn industry. The second one. We see movies where two people fall in love and it's so romantic and it's so sweet and it's so nice and oh she can't when they're making love and they are passionately kissing each other, feeling each other, doing crazy stuff and um, in real life, how many times you can do that? In the movies, the hero is always the winner. Happily ever after. In real life, how many of us have that? Even when you see bodybuilding, you know, successful bodybuilders or strongman competitions, they'll show you, oh, he's so strong, he's so, you know, able to lift heavy weights. Do they ever show you the documentaries after they stop bodybuilding or powerlifting? How terrible their life is. Like even MMA. I'm a fan of MMA, UFC. They show you the guy who wins in the ring and holds the belt. I'm successful and all that. And he gives a big speech. Never give up on your dreams. I was a small boy from this village. Today I'm in the UFC. I've achieved success. Yeah, you see that because they show you that. But once they retire... All that glamour is gone. They'll never show you because why will UFC show you that? Why will any MMA promotion show you that? Because it'll make the sport look bad. So they only show you the best glorified moments. They don't show you the difficulties, you know. So many MMA fighters have joints issues, heart related problems, you know, all the beatings and bruises that they took. They can't even walk. You know, WWE superstars, every joint in their body is paining. Every uh, organ of theirs is weak. In fact, one of the things that uh, WWE superstars, they say, they are on the road 300 days a year. 300 days a year. Out of 365, they don't get to see their families. They don't get to be with their families. They're just traveling, working, they're on painkillers, they got to train hard in the gym and then, you know, take bumps and bruises, then they have to listen to fans and all the nonsense. In fact, even being an actor or actress, you only see them when they are successful and they are happy holding the Oscar. Behind the scenes, 
how many sexual favors they would have to have done how many people they would have to bribe how many people's ass they would have to kiss in fact we are only looking at people who are super successful oh oprah winfrey or denzel washington why there are only two or three actors in this world have you when you see a movie i want you to watch a movie see the end credit scene i sometimes sit and watch that you'll see the top 5 actors whom you recognize but then let it keep continuing see how many actors you can recognize lower see how many side actors see how many directors see how many editors see how many action stars you'll realize that there are more than maybe a thousand names and that is just one movie and you know who knows these people i know for, uh, i know actors and models who literally get paid only 100 dollars let that sink in and i'm not talking third world countries i'm talking in united states in dubai they are struggling to make even 100 dollars a day and that also after surgeries after makeup after kissing ass and you know doing their best to please other people i i know of some people who literally have had to sleep with four people four casting directors producers direct whatever just to get a role in the movie and the pay was basic why because there's hope that you can be successful see i i just want to tell you this much what i'm doing looks glamorous fine and i'll tell you this it's it's not that uh, the reality is different i am truly i don't know if the right word is blessed i would say i'm lucky i have a good life i have a, as of now flourishing business i have a good you know decent brand following i make good money decent money 500 dollars sometimes a day sometimes a thousand dollars a day that's good money i am able to stay with my wife and my baby almost every single day i am able to keep my expenses down to the minimum okay i'm currently right now right now i don't know 2 years from today 5 years from today as of now i'm happy but now would i recommend this life to anybody else it depends like for example do you think i'm going to start preaching to my daughter uh, jump into being a youtuber and doing all this maybe yes maybe no it all depends her personality is different we do not know the landscape see here's a simple thing a fact which you have never thought about friendster was there before facebook myspace was there even before that they vanished hotmail was the leading you know email service provider vanished microsoft bill gates the most powerful company today it's no longer at that level you had kodak nobody could touch kodak today kodak is extinct you know so many companies and so many brands have vanished over the period of time see this generation that you and i are in i can tell you in the next 5 to 10 years things are going to change i mean when facebook uh, came it was like wow nobody could survive without facebook but today if you talk about facebook so many don't want to be on facebook where was tiktok it just came and today what content is there on facebook absolute utter nonsense when i see tiktok i see the videos i'm disgusted i see females wearing such skimpy outfits where they are just covering their you know just the part of their vagina and their nipples the rest everything is being flaunted and shaken and shown and you're talking of young girls i mean what is this you you're talking of literally everyone you're talking of youngsters even talking oh i can make it on only fans let me show my naked body and do some sex videos yeah from where do they get this idea because some stupid person said 
on only fans i'm making 15000 20000 a month or week or day you need to stop focusing only on the ones who have done it remember for every one person who does it there is maybe a thousand people who have failed or one person does it maybe the next 10 people will be okay maybe the next 10 people will be barely making a living the remaining they will not look at any business okay just because jeff bezos made money on e-commerce how many people are making millions and billions you can count them please um, stop uh, cherry picking people's lives and uh, their successes and assuming that you may become that yes i'm not saying you will not become i'm not saying you will not succeed i'm not saying you will not uh, achieve your dreams but uh, it's not going to be anything like what you see if you really want to succeed stop looking at just youtube podcast uh, reading blogs and take professional coaching one to one and get guided step by step remember for example me this has been a journey that has spanned 20 years my public speaking started almost 20 years ago uh, age of 16 i think so that's nearly 30 now we could say 30 years ago so 30 years of public speaking and self learning almost same 30 years of reading books and maybe 10 years of coaching training and millions millions not exact millions of dollars worth of mistakes money spent on wrong things and finally i got lucky i'm telling you i got lucky don't let someone else's luck or success fool you into thinking if i do this even i'll like i said maybe you will but most probably you will not and you will never achieve the same level of success either it'll be more or most probably it'll be less i know this might sound like i'm trying to discourage you and all that rather i want it to make you afraid which is the truth because you should not live without fear i would love to tell you yes you can achieve your dreams believe in the impossible dare to do it and blah 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 all this stuff is sounds good i'll just leave you with only this people come to me because they want to hear the truth the realistic facts you know the hardcore stuff and that's why people come to me if you're looking for some bullshit uh, motivational you can do anything uh, go enough and more fake coaches are there who what you pay them they will lift you up in the air feed your ego and make you feel like a billion dollars that's not my job one last thing if you want to lose 50 kilos body weight let's say 50 kilos by a certain amount of time you have to divide the number of days minus you know with the 50 kilos that means every single day every single day you have to lose a few grams a few bits of kilo that means maybe 10 grams 20 grams 50 grams you have to lose every single day because if you do not lose every single day how will you achieve losing 50 kilos same way you want to be a billionaire okay before billion comes million before million comes hundreds of thousands before that comes 10000s before that comes thousands before that comes uh you know hundreds before that comes 10 and before that comes one you have to start saving one 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 five times you can five one 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 more becomes 10 10 20 30 40
that's how you save but then you start investing in bitcoin and crypto and all that and trying your luck gambling maybe you'll make it most probably you'll not then imagine the shock when you lose everything so not everything in life is meant to be like only reward there is risk and failure and once you fail especially like for example in cryptos you have 100 you put you get 200 put 200 you get 400 you put 400 you get 800 but one fine day when you put all and you lose everything you are back to zero and then you maybe that opportunity will never come back again <sighs> anyway man i like to keep it real i spoke to this boy i told him what he needed to know now it's all up to him he can cherry pick and choose what he wants i just don't want anybody else getting the wrong idea what life is what success is the reality of life is not hollywood is not youtube and it's definitely what not what these motivational scammy gurus like v gary vaynerchuk and tony robbins and not what they teach you anyway this is what i wanted to share let me know your thoughts this means any of shall you guys take care